Welcome to MathsMaster.org. Let's learn how to estimate the size of angles. When we're estimating angles, what we want to do is get an answer that is close to the real answer, but to do so really quickly. So estimating is about getting an answer quickly, which is close to the real answer. It doesn't have to be exact. So what is the point in estimating the size of angles? Well, it's a brilliant way of checking that your answers are sensible. You'll see when we come to measuring angles or drawing angles that it's really easy to make a mistake. And if you can estimate the size of angles, it's a really good way of spotting your mistakes and checking that your answers are sensible. To be really good at estimating angles, you need to know these four different diagrams really well. You need to know that a quarter turn or a right angle is 90 degrees and then what each diagram looks like is you go on another 90 degrees each time so from 90 degrees to 180 to 270 degrees being three quarters of a turn and a full turn being 360 degrees. If you know these really well estimating angles is easy. So let's have a go now and estimate the size of this angle. Well, bearing in mind the four diagrams that you just saw, what should pop into your head is that this one is very close to being a right angle. In fact, it's a little bit smaller than a right angle, isn't it? So it's going to be close to a right angle, 90 degrees, but a little bit smaller than that. So my estimate for the size of this angle would be 80 degrees. Let's estimate the size of this angle now. Well, it's close to being half a turn, which is 180 degrees, but it's a little bit larger than that. So my estimate for the size of this angle would be 190 degrees. This angle is nearly as large as three quarters of a turn, or 270 degrees, but it's a little bit smaller than that, isn't it? So my estimate for the size of this angle would be 260 degrees. What about this angle? Well, it's certainly smaller than a right angle, so it's going to be less than 90 degrees. But I think that a reasonable estimate for this angle is 45 degrees, because it looks about half as large as a right angle. So you can use techniques like this saying that's half as large as a right angle or a third of the size of a right angle or two thirds of the size of a right angle to help you in estimating the size of angles. Let's estimate the size of this angle now using some of the techniques that we've just learned. Well, it's certainly larger than half a turn, which would be 180 degrees. It's not as large as three quarters of a turn, so it's less than 270 degrees. So it's somewhere between 180 and 270. And if we look at half a turn, and then the bit that is added on after the half a turn, that looks about half the size of a right angle, doesn't it? Or about 45 degrees. So in total, I think it's half a turn, which is 180, add on another 45, which is half a right angle, to give us a total of 225 degrees. Now again, that's a very reasonable estimate for the size of this angle. If you'd have estimated this as 230 or 220, they would both be right answers as well. In estimation, you're just trying to get a uh, number which is close to the real answer. It doesn't have to be exact. That was estimating the size of angles. If you want to see some more fantastic maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.